till the end of your yarn here is my yarn so I will pull it completely till the end leaving about 6-7 centimeters on the out so this is I'm leaving it 6-7 to seven centimeters outside so that later we can use it for cutting or then stitching it internally now I will show you the needle is still inside the, and the yarn is in there continue the opposite direction or for the second part if here it was in the last one was in so this one will be on top and then in then top then in then top then in then top then in then top in finally top and that's it pull away your full yarn but please be careful that you're pulling it slowly and not too tightly because if you pull it too tightly later you will end up I will show you what you will end up in okay and then use your fingers and then push it up just like how we did for the fabric if you pull it too tight what is going to happen is you will have these two close together which is a complete mistake so if this happens with you no problem loosen it pull out some yarns in the middle loosen it as how it was before push it up and then slowly down very lightly and then up again keep doing this till you have reached your particular color or the number of colors you want it has to be and then complete that area So dear students you can see here we are having our diff three different loops or the yarn waving done here on the cardboard and now I have got this outside I will show you how we did it. For example let's see you are having this one so you will take it out the loop one by one first untie the knot. Once you have untied the knot you can one by one remove it from here and after removing it looks similarly like this. Now what about the leftover these you can just stitch it inside okay using the help of your needle and then cut the rest over and but leave the white part because white part I will show you what you have to do it later so let us just stitch one of the areas and show you what has to be done let's say I'm taking about this one so I will take it here stitch it internally like that in it goes you can see here and more in and you keep doing it till you have a little bit left inside so I have just stitched it inside internally and cut the left over you can either use it for your raya knot for your another wavings now what about the white loops now take the white loop and again insert it into your stitching needle but if you go this way in that is just like you're doing undoing your knot or the loops so what I'm gonna go is go this way go to the first loop inside to the second loop to your third loop and pull after you have pulled it go to your next one again and your third one that is going to help your yarns to be in intact now come backwards go through the first loop the second loop third fourth 
till how much you are having your no matter it comes out of your needle don't worry about it now this is what the final one you can either take the help of your needle or that go through one of the loops push it through there and make a loop at the back as you can see here and tie a knot straight knot once that is a knot cut the left over similarly you can do for this one we have done here and here both the sides the final stitch has been done and this is the design here it looks a bit too close together that was because of the yarn the loops not the pulled a lot further by my student but however it's a nice design either you can cut on this side or give it a nice wall hanging like this or it looks like a frog for a doll so you can have a face in here stick it or you can also use it as a diagram to draw like that where a leg is coming out and your doll's face is up so this is a nice type of yarn waving done on a cardboard now i will be showing you what is the final effect of these two flags so dear students here is the final touch up we have done after that and here it's ready this is the flag of the uae the indian flag and the beautiful frog so you can also do the same and please send me the pictures in the comment box below thanks for watching my video